so that is it for my curls. And then I literally just toss it around and do this all day long. Boom, that's my messy curls and this will last me for about three days. Okay, so usually if my hair is just, I usually let it air dry. And if it has just air dried out of the shower, it's usually pretty straight. So I won't even pin my hair up and do the underside. I'll just curl a few curls on top and then just pick pieces up. But since this did air dry yesterday and it kind of sat and it has this weird kink in my the side of my neck here, I'm going to pin it up so I can get some of the under layers so that we can get rid of that weird kink. So this is my brand new wand. This is the Laange, I think is how you say it, or Lange. Um, the 25 millimeter, I'm just reading off the box here. I got the 25 millimeter titanium curling wand. And I like the titanium because it holds my curls for longer. I can go days after I curl my hair and rock the same curls, maybe fixing up a few curls here or there. I also got the 25 instead of, I think it's the 32 or something like that, the bigger size anyways, because this way I have the option if I want tighter curls or looser curls, because you can take this, wrap it around, hold it for less time, and you'll get a looser curl. And if you want really tight curls, which I don't, but you can hold it, pull it tight with your finger and pull the wand tight just so you get like really good, it's really good and tight in there and you will get then a tighter curl. So you have more options in my opinion with getting the smaller wand. And especially if um, your hair doesn't hold a curl well, you'll want the tighter wand because then as it loosens up throughout the day, you'll have a nice messy wave. Okay, so then what I do is I just take little kind of like one inch sections, nothing too thick or you're not gonna get a good nice curl. Wrap it around, make sure you're pulling it tight. It does come with a little like cloth glove so that you don't burn your fingertips while you're doing this, but I've been using a curling wand for quite a while, so I'm not gonna burn myself. And I hold it for about five to eight seconds and I don't curl every single piece. That's the trick of the messy curls rather than having like the super perfect curls. So I curled that one back. So I'm gonna curl this one forward and that is going to help you get those messy curls. If you curl all of the curls in the same direction, you're gonna get kind of like a loose finger wave kind of sultry curl to your look. So I'll continue doing that all the way around it doesn't matter if you go like, it, it's there's no science to it. It's just like curl some some way, curl some the other way, just so that you have them in mixed directions to create that messy curl kind of look. And then do the same thing over here. Curling one inch sections, leaving some of the hair straight, curling some of the hair. And I do this all around my head. So I'll kind of speed through this and then I'll show you what I do when I get to the top of my hair. So now that I'm on the top layer, when I get to the front and when I do the front pieces in my hair, I always make sure that I curl those ones away like this, wrapping it away from my face. And that kind of opens everything up. If you do it towards your face, it kind of looks, it's just not as nice. I make sure that I curl everything away from my face. And I'm just like, it parts wherever it parts. It doesn't matter. Like I'm very willy nilly with my hair. Okay. So then when I'm doing the very front, like the fringe area of my face, I don't want these super curly. So, and I always make sure that I leave a tail end here because I like the ends to be straight because that gives it that sort of like messy, not precise look. So I curled that one away, grab another chunk over here, curl that one away, leaving a long tail. And so, the tighter you hold your hair, the tighter of a curl you're gonna get. So if I wrap this and I just leave it kind of loose like this, you're going to get like a looser curl to your hair. 
then if you wrap it tight and pull on the tip and pull on the curling iron away from your head, that is going to give it lots of tension and you're going to get a tighter curl. See like that and see how this looks nice and messy with the straight end. You might need to go and like tweak some of those ends a little bit um, afterwards when you're all done, but just get all the curls in your hair. So I curl the two away and then I'm gonna curl this one forward. And if you need, see that it did like sort of a weird bump here. So then I'll break it up because that it happens when you get too much hair in the curling iron. So I'll just split that strand up. And there, and I just don't love how this one's curling. So I'm gonna tweak that one too because it was too thick of a chunk. There we go. And I'm just going to keep doing that all the way around my head curling the two front pieces back and then alternating back and forth all the way around my head. Okay, so then once I have most of the strands curled, then I'll take a look at it and I'll see like this one's kind of sitting weird. So I'm going to grab that one out and it's a straight one. So I'm just going to take it and curl it in the direction I feel like I want it to go. I think I want it to go back. Oh, gotta get the rest of the hairs out of there. That looks better and this one's kind of doing a weird thing so I'm just going to tweak that one a little bit. Okay and then what I do is because I just whip my hair around so wait for all your curls to be cooled because that's going to help them stay and last longer. That one's weird I'm going to curl that one just loosely. So once they've all cooled, I'll take and toss my hair around because this is kind of my signature look right here. And then when my hair is flipped this way, I'll make sure, sure that it's like kind of all curled how I want it to be on this side where this one's looking a little bit straight. So I'm going to curl that one away from my face because it's right in front. Okay. And then I will take and do the same thing for this side for when I flip it to this side. This is how I keep like the crazy volume in my hair at all times. Just keep when it starts to go flat this way, I flip it back, I flip it the other way, I just flip it all around and that's how my hair stays so voluminous. This side looks like most of everything is curled and everything's kind of looking messy. So then this is where I will add my products in. So usually I use a product called AG Dry Wax or there's a bedhead one called Heart, no, what's it called? There's a bedhead anyways. I'll link the two down below in the description box. They are, there's lots in various brands, but those are my two favorite. Um, it's a it's a texture paste, so it's going to make your hair feel rough in here so that it'll hold a back comb because if your hair is too silky soft, which it should be if it's healthy, um, but it's hard to style when it's too silky soft. So I will put that in and then back comb, but I, for the life of me, cannot find it. Anyways, but this is where I'll take and I will just take just a regular comb, whatever you have, and I'll toss a bit of back combing in the root area. Just kind of wherever I feel like tossing it around. And if it looks, usually it's a little flat in the crown or if I want to mess up some of these curls, I'll just toss a little tease into the ends of the curls right here. And this makes it look like I have so much hair. Like my hair is reasonably thick, but it's very fine and limp. So it just, it falls quite easily. It goes quite flat. Make sure you're getting 
Make sure you use a reverse mirror and do the back of your hair too. You don't want this like big awesome front and then your back looks like, hmm, she did not look at the back of her hair before she left the house. And just, I mess up right here because this neck area here kind of comes around and goes flat and weird. Okay, and when that is all messy and kind of how I like it, I will just toss in my favorite hairspray of all time, the Bedhead Hardhead Hairspray. If you guys have coarse to like medium fine hair, if your hair is super fine, you're not gonna wanna use this is what I'm trying to say because it is a fairly wet hairspray. I like it because it's wet so I can put it in and then kind of manipulate my hair how I want it. But if you guys are looking for a nice hairspray for very fine or thin hair, I would suggest like the Nioxin one because Nioxin is kind of geared towards finer thinning hair. I will link in the description to both of those hairsprays so you guys can check them out. And yeah. That's pretty much it, you guys. And then I can get away with rocking this hairstyle for at least three days. And then I just have various hairstyles that I start tossing in to mix it up as the week goes on and I need to wash my hair. And then I'll wash my hair, start over with a fresh new set of curls and it'll just kind of like get looser and looser as the week goes on. And eventually I'm in a hat and a ponytail and that's when I know it's time to wash the hair. <laughs> So yeah, I will link a couple more videos for hair videos in the description below. I will also link in the description where you can get this La Ange or Lange uh, curling wand as well. So. so if you guys enjoyed this little hair tutorial and you'll end, blah, blah, blah. if you guys enjoyed this hair tutorial and you'd like to see more, make sure that you guys click the subscribe as well as the little bell and then you guys will be notified it. Notified it? I quit can't talk right now. You'll be notified when my next video goes live. So I hope you guys will tune in to the next one. I'll see you guys.